What is up guys, it's Nate here. Um, thank you for the subs that I've gotten so far. Uh, for you guys that have been active, uh, thank you. I think I mentioned that in my last tutorial on this channel. But um, I want to just let you guys know that I'm starting to edit now. Or I haven't started yet, but I got my clips ready. Got a cinematic, I found a song. So I'm all ready to go. So right after I make this tutorial, I'm going to start. Um, so yeah. The tutorial will be over something really simple but creative. It is just like kind of like target, making them red, just using glow. I didn't add anything to the glow. I didn't add like blur or anything. The idea that is creative and cool about this tutorial, not really anything else. Let me just make sure my setting. Yeah, all right. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your starting point. Uh, like when you want the glow to kind of start, mine is right when the Twixter comes in. So I'll do Control 8, make a marker. And we're going to do Layer New Adjustment Layer. And we're going to rename this Glow. Drag it under CC and look up Stylize Glow. I didn't use trap code because I know that some of you guys don't have it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this color A to red. Change A and B, our original colors to A and B. And the threshold will drag it down to 30. And intensity will bump it up 1.5. And yeah, so we're going to turn this layer off for a second. Click the eyeball. And we will get our mask tool from up here. And we're just going to mask around the dude. So I'm going to go on full res and do just really half ass mask. Lego. The good thing about the blacks, I think, I'm not too sure, I don't think they show up as red, I think they show up as color B, black, so if you mask around this black gun, I don't think it's going to show up as red, so, because that would look really weird if it showed up as red. Alright, oh, there's my mask, there's me mask, let's turn on the layer, see how it looks, looks like shit. Like I thought, and part of the gun is red. Uh, it's at the very end where um, you can kind of see the wall. So I'll turn on the mask, uh, and we'll we will feather it like fifty. Ultimately, it doesn't look too bad. Mm. Can't really notice the flaws, so it's all good. I had a bar stuck in my mouth. So yeah. What we're going to do now is we are going to kind of track it. I have my clip twigster, so I don't really need to do it that much. See, I go 40 frames over and kind of needs to be moved over. So I will do that. Move it over just a little bit. I don't want the glow to be over the gun, so I'm gonna. That's why I'm moving this so far, so far over, because it doesn't look real when it's over the gun. What the hell? Come on, there we go. Come on, come on. Come on. That's a little better. Yeah, that's better. And then when we're here, it doesn't really move much, so it's fine. But now that we have our mask kind of tracked, um, you probably want to do a little better of a job than I did. We're going to go to Opacity. We're going to keyframe it to 0. Go 10 frames over. Bring it to 100. Go 10 frames over. Keyframe it again. And then 10 frames over. Bring it back to 0. Go 20 frames over. Keyframe it to 0. 10 frames over. 100, 10 frames over, 100, 10 frames over, 0. So now, if we RAM preview this, it'll look like this. Kind of light, he lights up in red. And it looks pretty cool. My color correction is complete shit. I'm pretty sure if you have a better color correction, it'll look a lot better. I was going to use a color correction like this because I'm doing not really like an over edit type of edit, 
doing more of a chill. I'm still going to throw in a ton of effects, trying to make it look crazy and hectic. But uh, I was just going for this type of look, and it turns out to not look too good. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the tutorial. <clears throat> uh, uh, you can do this with multiple people. I think it looks great. It's really creative. Um, so uh, sorry if this tutorial wasn't up to par. I've gotten Element 3D, which I want to do some tutorials on over as well. If some of you guys have it, let me know in the comments if you want some Element 3D work. And if you like this vlog thing, I only got one comment, I recall. Now he didn't want me to keep doing this, so uh, if you guys want me to keep vlogging, having my picture top right corner, then tell me. If you don't, then uh, I'll stop. Just let me know. Voice yourself. You have keyboards, hopefully. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to ramble on for too long. Thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope it serves you well, and leave some likes. Peace out.